Okay, now I need to clarify some shit on two different fronts. Now, I did a video about the American soldiers over in Iraq, where a group of soldiers are making fun of a bunch of Iraqi kids. I don't believe they're over there to make fun of nobody's kids. So, you know, that's fucked up. Now, in saying what I just said, I never once said that to hell with the troops. So, for these people who watch my video and say that we're not over here for that, do not believe in any way, shape, or form I'm against the troops. You got me wrong. You got me fucked up. So, just because someone does something that I don't necessarily like, that don't mean I don't support the people who are battling and fighting over in so-called the name of the United States of America. Now, regardless of what we're over there fighting for, that has nothing to do with me. The people themselves are the ones I'm looking out after, the ones that I care for. I care for the troops, the American citizens over there fighting. That's what I care about. Now, let's talk about something else that's been fucking bugging me. Now, this uh, ugly Bonnie. Now, I've read a couple of your comments, and I, I completely think that you're intelligent enough to write what you write. But understand this. I meant no disrespect to the Confederate flag. It's just that I'm tired of hearing about the shit. Fuck it. Let it go. It symbolizes this. It symbolizes that. Whatever you believe, it symbolizes that's your belief. Whatever anybody else believes, it symbolizes that's their belief. I really don't care about the Confederate flag. And by saying that, we have bigger problems than a flag. I'm wrong. I'm disrespecting somebody's heritage. Huh? Huh? I come from a nation of kings. A lot of kings. And now, I know after saying what I just said, it's going to be like Rodney King, Martin Luther King, and all this dumbass shit written on the bottom of my page. But understand this. The Confederate flag, would it save your life? Would it keep you warm? Would it put money in the bank? You do all those things, not the flag. You feed your family, not that flag. And if somebody's dying in your family, is a flag going to bring them back if you lay it across their body? <sighs> so, I'm not disrespecting the Confederate flag. I'm just saying it's not that important. And hey, it might stand for this, it might stand for that. Where are the flags of my forefathers? Hmm? Where, where are my flags at? Where's, where's the flags that flying in front of my house? You know what color flag flying in front of my house? Huh? You know what I'm going to say. You know which flag flying in front of my house? Everybody be good. Enjoy yourself. I said, and I'm a family man. I ain't got no time worrying about no damn Confederate flags. I ain't no time for worrying about Iraqi soldiers and American soldiers doing their thing over there and American soldiers being stupid. I ain't no time for that. So, you know, like I'm saying, if American soldiers are over there making fun of little yeah, Iraqi kids, that's fucked up. But I'm still gonna support the, the troops. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They might be assholes, but they're still American assholes. And I'm sorry. A lot of people saw that video and think I'm against the troops. And like I said, an ugly Bonnie. Um, 
You know what? I just want people to look at your last comment. I'm gonna find it and I'm gonna flip it. I'm gonna flip that shit. Okay, I'll come get him. But the next time you invite me to come spend fifty dollars and come learn something, I tell you what. You come to California and you find me and I'll teach you for free. The game is to be sold, not told. Don't play with a man when you act like a boy. You've been tube. Shit, five minutes left. Yeah, tube you anyway.